So we've done this tutorial twice now, but throughout the years I've gotten a lot better at After Effects and I wanna to continue to improve on this technique so you can create an awesome infinite tunnel loopable scene right here inside of After Effects. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Hope everyone is doing awesome today. So this is a very creative project for you to put together, whether you're looking to do things with typography or you really just want something outside of the box. You'll be able to use any type of shapes that you want with a handful of different effects that we'll go through in this tutorial, but it's a lot of fun. And without wasting more time, we're going to jump into our tutorial and we're going to get started. All right, as always, you can download our project files for free. If you want to follow along, I will link it below. So here we are, we have an empty composition. The first thing we're gonna do is create the shapes that you see here. So what we're gonna do is come here to the top and we can grab any shape tool that we want. I'm gonna grab the ellipse tool. Make sure you click on the word fill, set it to none and click okay. Click on the word stroke, set it to solid color, click okay. And you come here and you change your color to uh, pretty much whatever color you want to use and click okay. And we'll set our stroke width to 10. All right, so then what we wanna do is make sure we turn on the title action safe so we can see where the center of our comp is. So once that's right in the crosshair, what we can do is click, hold down control and shift and draw a perfect circle like so. And that's that. All right. Then we'll come here to add and we'll add a repeater and we'll come here, repeater one, open it up, go to transform repeater one, set the X position right here to zero. And then we can bring down the scale and that's cool. And we can maybe scale down a little bit more and we'll come here to the number of copies and we can increase that. All right. Pretty simple, right? So then what we want to do is come here to offset and we'll all click the stopwatch and we'll type in time asterisk negative 0.5 so what this will do it'll animate this forward towards us and we'll have this infinite animation just increase the number of copies and that will allow it to go on for a lot longer so now we have one shape in here and that's looking good but i want to add say another shape into this so what we could do is simply we could just copy the repeater effect for now so we don't have to do that again then we'll come here and grab the pen tool right here at the top and you can change your color we'll bring the stroke width down a little bit to five and with our title action safe here, we can see what the center of the comp is. And simply what I'll do is I'll click a point here at the top at the crosshair, hold down shift and click a point down here at the bottom. So we know that's like in the center and that's looking good. So then what we want to do is come here to open shape layer, come here to contents and click on the word contents and just paste in that repeater that we copied. Then we go into the shape layer one and we'll come here to transform uh, shape one and we'll come here to exposition and we can move this over just like so. And then also what we can do is break the chain for scale and we increase the uh, scale Y size so we can make that a little bit, you know, bigger in there. So boom, we kind of have this nice and repeated and that looks good. So we can also come here to our shape one, duplicate it, and then we'll go back into transform uh, shape and we can just move our exposition over to the other side of our shapes here so now we're kind of creating this tunnel and just a little quick tip if you want to create more separation between the circle and lines or any other shape that you're using you just hit astro and keyboard for scale and you can just scale this down and that will kind of help you create a little bit of separation between uh different shapes so they're not overlapping and i think that looks really nice and you know that's good we'll actually start the animation of the tunnel already up so we can just hit b on your keyboard all right, so we already have the toughest part of the tutorial out of the way and all this other cool creative effects it's just going to be super simple but first let's go ahead and create a quick floor very easy to do we'll come here and we'll grab say the pen tool and we'll bring up our title saves again just kind of click a point right there in the middle and what we're going to do hold down shift come you know all the way to the bottom of a composition and click a point and we'll come here change our color to like a dark gray and we'll come here and increase the stroke width. Then we'll open up our shape layer, go in the contents, go to shape one, go here to stroke one, and there's a new option called taper. We'll open that up and where it says uh, start length, go ahead and set that up to 100%. And we can also go ahead and increase the stroke width to kind of maximize that floor, if you will. So. That's a cool little technique that we could implement. And before we move further into our tutorial, I gotta give a huge shout out to our Motion Graphics Starter Pack extension right here inside of After Effects. So this is our Motion Graphics Starter extension where we can preview hundreds of elements just by hovering over them inside of After Effects within any After Effects project. And we have hundreds of titles, accent motion graphics, animated backgrounds, and more within this one pack. And when we find an asset that we want, we can just click on apply and it automatically applies a title animation to our composition, which we can go into and easily change out our titles. And we can come into our control layer and make any adjustments to help fit our title best and easily change the color of any elements and titles very easily. And to help enhance this even further, we can come here and apply a quick cluster to take this to the next level with a click of a button. 
So within about a minute's worth of time, we've been able to put together a full composition with some really nice details very quick with our motion graphics starter pack. And we have several other packs that we can easily switch over to and start applying templates from there as well. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work for your projects, be sure to check out our motion graphics starter pack along with our other packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, I went ahead and typed out a title and it's right in the center of our composition. Just go to the line tab and center, center it up. And first thing we're gonna wanna do is we'll come here to the beginning for comp, which will be set up oh, three seconds. We'll hit S on our keyboard and shift P to bring up position and scale. And we'll add a keyframe for both of these and we'll set our scale down to 0%. All right, so then we'll do say, we'll come here to, I don't know, nine seconds or eight seconds and we'll set our scale back up to 100% and we'll come here to the Y value and we'll bring down our title just to go outside of the composition. You can also increase the scale of your title if you want. Uh, it's completely up to you how big you want the title to be, but just make sure it's below the composition. So now you'll see. All right, so we have our title in here, but there's a little bit of a timing issue that we have here. It's some things I don't like, so let's go ahead and work on that. Let's go ahead and make all of our first keyframes easy, easy keyframes by hitting F9 on our keyboard. Let's come into the graph editor. And what we're gonna do is we'll grab our handles here for position and scale. We'll just bring this in and grab the scale one and bring that in as well. And what that's gonna allow us to do is gonna kind of keep the animation fluid and keep going. Another thing that we can do is we can grab say the position uh, keyframe here and we can just move it up. And what we're doing is this is going to increase the speed of the animation. And we run through this, it's way more smooth and it gives you enough time to actually read the title, which is very important uh, to me. So I think this is very smooth and we don't have to do this again for any additional titles. So now if you want additional titles, all you have to do is go to edit, duplicate on your title, and you can just offset it in time. And you can change out your title. And then we can duplicate it again, offset it in time. And there you have it. And then of course, if you, we could use a loop out expression to keep this completely loopable, but for the sake of control and the ability to put in more titles, I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna go ahead and duplicate our other titles and just time it out perfectly so it goes on forever and you can keep this going on for however long you want it to be so that is a really cool way for you to add titles into your comp all right we got the bulk of the tutorial out of the way and now we can do all the creative effects as you see here so what we're going to do is go to layer new adjustment layer and we'll bring this layer underneath our titles and this is going to be our glow layer so what we'll do is go to effect perspective and first we're going to grab drop shadow and we'll set our distance to zero. And on top of that, we'll increase the softness to about 50 and we can change the color to whatever primary color that you want. So we're gonna do like an orange here. Uh, I can just kind of just select our shape that we originally had. And this will create a very nice glow around our composition. Then we'll go to effect, stylize, and then we'll just grab glow. And we'll set our glow threshold to 100% and we'll come here to glow radius. Just bring it up by a little bit and we'll come here to glow intensity, set it to two. Awesome. We'll go ahead and duplicate the glow effect. So now we have two in here. And this time around, we'll increase the glow radius to 120, you know, around that area. And, you know, that should be good. So now we have a pretty nice uh, glow effect in here that looks nice. All right. So when you have your glow effect in here with everything done, we'll go ahead and grab all of our layers, go to layer pre-compose, and we'll just call it elements. So the first thing I want to do is add a very nice blur effect here to the center. So what we're gonna do is go to layer, new uh, adjustment layer, and we'll just call it blur. Then we'll go up to effect, blur and sharpen, and we're gonna grab camera lens blur. And this will do a very nice soft blur to the entire composition, but I, I don't wanna do that. So I'm gonna come here and grab the ellipse tool and we'll bring up our title action saves again. And we'll simply just draw a perfect circle, hold down control and shift on your keyboard. And we just wanna blur out you know, the background here. So we'll do that and then you can Hit F on keyboard for mass feather and feather this like crazy. And if you want to cheat this a little bit so the titles don't get, you know, blurred out, you can just grab like with that bottom point and bring it up and that should be fine. And so that's going to keep the background blurred. So, you know, a little before and after that looks really nice. All right. So let's go ahead and create another adjustment layer. This time around, let's go to effect uh, noise and grain and let's just add noise. We can set this up to like 10% uncheck use color noise. I think that looks really nice and that'll add on to the other effects that we're about to add. So let's go, let's also go to effect, distort, and let's add one of my favorite effects called CC lens. 
and you already get something really trippy here and I think that's awesome but let's come here and let's increase the size up to like a hundred a little past a hundred here and you know that'll kind of warp out the tunnel by a little bit and then also if you want you can also go to effect to store and add an optics compensation and for this we can increase this to like 120 ish and then on or then check on reverse lens distortion and I'll take the effect even further. You can use one of these effects or both of them or, you know, you get different looks for each one. So I challenge you to please take a look at this and see if it works for what you're looking to do. Just some cool optional effects for you to use. The noise is optional as well. Um, but this is the creative effects to it and really takes us to the next level. Now, one other element that I'd like to apply is a stock asset, which you can download for absolutely free from Premium B. I will link it below. We get a full pack of these. Uh, this is just a light and dust element. I love using these. I've been using these for years. It's just a free pack. I'll bring it into our composition and I'll set our blend mode of this layer down to screen. And nice, you get this extra element in here. We also go to effect color correction curves and we can just kind of darken this out by a little bit and we can just quickly change the color of this asset to kind of match, you know, whatever look we're looking to do here. So go ahead and just play with these channels, see what we can come up with. Maybe I'll go for more of the purple look. So if you've been following along, this tutorial shot something very similar to this. This is without the optics compensation effect. This is just a CC lens. Um, but I think this looks really awesome and it's just a lot of fun to create this type of work. So that is our tutorial on this awesome project. I had a lot of fun doing it. I love doing abstract stuff right here inside of After Effects. So I hope you enjoyed watching this. And if you're new to our channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.